This month, we'll be talking about the Arctic and how hot it is becoming, and one of the biggest Antarctic glaciers that might soon melt and would cause sea levels to rise. This is the Audrey for Canada Environmental News Report. I am Audrey Kim. Before we start, I want to make sure that you guys know the difference between the Arctic and the Antarctic. The biggest difference is the geography. The Arctic is ocean covered in a thin layer of ice. On the other hand, Antarctica is a continent and is mostly a very thick ice cap. Another key difference is the animals living there. The Arctic is mostly known for their polar bears, while the Antarctic is known for their penguins. If you are wondering about the location, Antarctica has the South Pole, while Arctic has the North Pole. Now we'll start our monthly report. The, a the Arctic is becoming hotter every passing year. It warms up two times the rate of the rest of the world. The Arctic also had the seventh warmest polar year on record, which was from September 2020 to October, and the warmest autumn since, since the 1900s. This is according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. This is because of polar amplification. This is a trend when global warming melts the sea ice, which leaves dark open water that absorbs even more heat or solar radiation. The Arctic sheets are only getting thinner, and within 30 years, scientists believe that we'll see a summer without sea ice. A similar problem is arising in the Antarctic, an ice shelf, a floating piece of ice that is permanently connected to land. The size of Florida is estimated to crack within a decade. This will lead to rising sea levels. This ice shelf is part of the Twaits Glacier, or now called the Doomsday Glacier. It's the widest glacier in the world. And if all of the Twaits Glacier was about to melt, the sea level would rise two feet. Why is this bad? This is terrible because rising sea levels will contaminate our drinking water, which might make the people sick. And the economy will be affected in many ways. And wild animals will be affected as well. This has been an Oshawa Care Environmental News Report. I hope you have a safe and healthy month. See you in a month, and Happy New Year!